Hello friends, it's Astro here and welcome back to Mars, where we've completed some research evidently. We've got a dome here that's totally out of uh, life support, but that's okay because it's, it's not being used at the moment. We've got some more anomalies to be uh, to be checked out, so we can... Oh, we had some last time, actually, now that I think back on this. Where were they? Let's zoom out. Yeah, look, two of them here. Okay, so I need to go and check those out too, and I need to sort of continue doing our thing. Um, so I suppose... Oh, this is better. Look, they got the recharge pads and... Well, there's two recharge pads there, which is probably a bit too much, quite frankly. Hang on. Let's have a look at these little dudes. Because I saw this. Cycle through. Hee <laughs> They can be blue. I like the red. Okay, I'm, I'm down with the red... Little red drones. I'm, I'm happy with that. Oh, wow. Shit, that completed quickly. Um. Okay. Cool. So, let's do, first of all, Glory to Atstotska is ready to land. So, we'll drop her onto pad A over here. Um, what? The satellite camera shows the rocket you are trying to land in standard Mars orbit. A small jet of liquid is gushing out the side. Our Glory to Atstotska rocket seems to have suffered a malfunction in her fuel tank. Shit. There are worries that the rocket won't survive the landing sequence. If it lands successfully, we can fix it with some polymers. safe okay so either way we lose the cargo which is fairly you know well is a chance oh we don't have a rocket scientist oh no oh damn because that's the default commander that you get right oh poo all right glory to Arzdotska. we're going for it guys we're gonna see how lucky i am today um whether or not this rocket will land safely with our cargo or whether it... No, zoom in. Oh, shit. Yay! We made it. Good work. Glory to Atzotska. Um, Though, there are zero drones assigned to uh, Glory to Atzotska. So nobody is going to be unloading said Atzotska ship. Uh, right, which means... What we're going to do is we're going to select. Okay, do we? Can we select a couple of these? Like, no. Drone eleven, drone, drone, drone. All right. Can I pack drone for reassignment, or control click to pack five drones? All right, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're just going to do this quickly. Guys, everyone go over to Glory to Our Thoughts Go. And... Oh my goodness. Look at all these goodies that we're getting. Look at the concrete in this one. Beautiful stuff. All right, cool. Uh, we have finished that anomaly too. So let's get our Explorer onto the next anomaly. Off we go. Now... While those guys are unloading things, let's plan out the next... Uh... Oh, there's still six guys here. Okay, great. We'll plan out the next things that we need to do. So, we need some passages linking... Can I rotate this? No, I can't. Okay. Linking these two domes. Uh, like this. And like... The... Oh, look at this. Great. Uh, we're going to need to have a passage ramp. Must be... Alright. So, when we've built the passage, we can build the ramp. Alright. And then we'll have one that goes from here to here. Linking these two... Oh, no. Okay. It needs to go... I guess... Hmm. Do we want it to go from the center? No, we don't. Because it still cuts off the corner of this. So, let's just do... Like this. Beauty. That should do the trick. And we need to connect up... What do you need? Pipes. But that'll come with this passageway, right? I have to imagine. You know what? Hang on. Let's let's cancel that. Let's cancel that. Let me just quickly think about where these pipes are going. 
because if I put it into here in this corner and then take it out of this corner, we're removing two big triangles um, from this, like from our build possibilities, right? Um, and I kind of don't want to do that. I kind of want to have it so that they both come into one. But that's not going to go there because there's things blocking its path. So, bugger. I guess it is going to... Oh, that's all right. That's fine. What we'll do is we'll just have them go this way. And then this one can go... So we're basically just going to redo what I just did. Um, and we'll have it this way to here and to here good that's fine let's do the trick we will lose so we got yeah out of these two domes we'll get three big blocks we can't put spires in these ones so we're only going to get our water reclamation tower out of that guy but at least this will mean that we can have three big um you know like uh, uh residential zones or maybe we'll be able to produce our uh what's what can travel back to Earth when refueled. So Buran is ready to go as well. So last time I started blathering about... Um... Actually, you know what, Buran? Here we go. Before I continue the story, let's do this. Planetary View, Project Monarch, uh, send an expedition, Buran ready to go, sent. Alright. Does it need drones? Um... Oh, I see. It's waiting for the RC transport to get on load. On, on, uh, placed on board. Where is she? Over here? Do I need to do this? Doot. Traveling. Here she comes. Onto the pad. Up the ramp? No. Um, how does one... Alright. Load resources. Create a transport route. Move and interact. So I don't seem to be able to click on the rockets. Um, it is... It's unloading fuel? What? I don't know what's going on. Um, right, how do I get you into this rocket? Not like that, evidently. Uh, and now you're stuck. Uh, <laughs> um, right, come over here. And then, oh, okay. Uh, evidently, I've just done it. I wish I'd seen how that was done. Because I have no idea what button I pressed. But that's fine. Um, how are we uh, low on water here? I'm not sure. We're only producing 3.1. And we have a demand for 3.6. Um, right. Interesting. All right. Well, let's just amplify these two. Let's just do one, actually, for now. Uh, eh, yeah, may as well. Upgrade. And you? Did you have an upgrade ready? Or well, we haven't researched that yet. I think that's... Um... What is this? Can travel back to Earth? Are you refueled already? Oh, shit. Awesome. Wow. Okay. Um, so our fuel production is, is actually making things a little bit better now. I am pretty thrilled by this. Awesome. Okay, cool. Ready. Ready, ready, ready. Let's get some stuff down here. Let's get our new drone hub. Sort of... Where was the last one? There. Ah. Alright. So we'll get it like... Because we want to cover... <gasps> Sustained workload. Ooh, okay. Well, we got to check that out. Hang on. So let's get this probably like here. Yes. We'll plonk it right there in between their shit. No, actually, hang on. <laughs> Cancel that. Uh, let's get it. Because it needs power. And I'm not sure how we're going to get power through these bloody things. Um, let's just put it... We'll have, we can have a little bit of an overlap. That's fine. Let's put, pop that there. And then once that is down... We can get some cables connected back to the grid. I guess like this. Whoopsie daisy. Here we go. The, the cables are a bit weird on this one. 
We've got some, uh, some, oh. Doubles the performance bonus when colonists are working on a heavy workload. When every citizen knows that their efficiency more or less impacts the survival chances of the entire colony, it becomes a matter of pride to work hard. Bam. And control click Q on top. We want to do that. And we want to get our outsourcing. No, we are still outsourcing, but we're only outsourcing 250 at the moment, which doesn't seem right, but that's fine. Uh, what else have we got? Subsurface heating increases the local temperature in cold areas and protects nearby buildings from cold waves. Consumes water. Okay. What's this? Sterling generator. Factory amplification. That's handy. Atomic accumulator. Ooh. Stores electrical power, has huge capacity, but charges slowly. History will remember the 20th century for two techn technological developments, atomic energy and space flight. That's fairly right, Neil. Um, drone hub. Yes, I would like to be able to build my own drone hubs. Sustainable architecture. In-dome buildings require maintenance less often. Good. Shifting focus away from fixing it to avoiding it is the natural step forward for any Martian habitat. Happy with that. And then storage compression, that'll be handy next. Logi engineering, which means we can build a medium dome. Yeah, we definitely want that. And this is the biotech, uh, this is the upgrade that I need for the evaporators to make them more efficient. And the Moxie, which I'm probably gonna need to look into shortly. Because at the moment, how are we doing for oxygen? Eh, it's still fine. It's still fine. That one Moxie, where is it? Wait, why are you not connected? Oh, that cable's not been built yet. Okay. Uh, that one Moxie that's over here is absolutely... Ha! Oh, shit. Oh, Russia got their breakthrough before we did. Bugger. All right. So we need um, to concentrate on getting the first Martian born or we need to work through the rest of these big goals because they give us a great bonus. I'm kind of ticked off that they got their um, their research bonus before we did. Kind of ticked off. All right, what are you dudes doing? You dudes can now be reassigned to this command center. Great. And then this command center now has 26 drones. That's fine. Um, what's this guy? Baran is ready to land. Oh, did it complete its mission? It did. And there was nothing there. Okay. Interesting. Baran, welcome back. Um, glory to Outstotska. What are you going to be doing? You've got no drones on board, but you're, um, you're fueled up and ready to go. I think that uh, that glory to Atstotska should go back to Earth because there is one thing that <laughs> he just leapt out of there, didn't he? Um, yeah, I feel like we need some more drones. Do we? Nah, I feel like we need some more dudes, but that. Oh, hang on. All right, let's think about that. So, um, passenger rocket we can't do. We have two rockets of four available. Uh, which rockets do we have? So we have these two ready to go. Buran's being refueled. Ad Stotska, return to Earth, please. When you get back to Earth, you're gonna be loaded up with people and droids and brought back here. Um, now, next. Oh, yeah, okay. This is, this is where it begins. This is where it begins. Ready? Here's where the fun begins. Uh, right. Let's go. Homes, education, and research. I want some apartments. And these are probably going to be big if we rotate that. All right. We're going to have apartment blocks in these two domes. Good. So uh, how much can these have? 24 right whereas the living complex is only 14 okay great great so that's another 48 dudes that we can and and ladies 
uh, that we can bring into this place. Let's have a nursery space for children. That'll be nice, right? So we can have the, actually we'll have the nursery. Oh, can we put it in the middle? Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, I have one of those. Uh, let's have a playground. So this can be the children dome. And then we'll have a school, which is not going to fit. Bugger. Um, let's have that here. A research lab. Sure. What is this? The door towards the stars. This will go down in history. Oh, right. Because we completed the, um, the, our... Right, the colony has been evaluated positively. Additional colonists can be called from Earth. All right, guys, let's do this. Uh, what else do we need? We don't need another space bar. Um, an open air gym can't fit. Uh, casino not in the not in the child zone. Maybe an art store. Yeah, have a little cheeky art store here, and then the rest of these domes, we can't fit spires in. Let's have some decorations. Let's have. A statue, which is me, right? Just looking awesome. We're going to have a... Oh, my God. A lake. My goodness. Yeah. We'll have that... Oh, the lake in here. I have a little alleyway. So, these are just going to be... Like... Should I cram that much stuff in to these ones? Let's have a small garden. Um, here and here. Around the statue. And then projector lamp. Ah, oh, outside building. Oh, well, that's cute. It's just a little a little pool of light. Okay, we don't really need that. Um, small alleys, alleys, stone gardens, small fountain, fountain statue. Uh, outside decorations. Ooh, beacons, monuments, large monument. Yeah, yeah, we totally need one of those. With without a shadow of a doubt. Um, what else can we squeeze into this that's not going to be that I'm not going to feel bad about? Could I relocate what's what's in here? The diner. I could relocate the diner and the infirmary down here, and then put another large building in there. Oh, farming. Yeah, we're gonna need more farms. All right. Um, dome services, life support, water tower, pipe, bar, 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 fungal farm. How big are these? Wow, those are rather large. Rather large indeed. But we can pop that. We can pop that. I'll tell you what, let's rotate that this way. And this can be. Can we have it? Ooh, can we squeeze it in here? We can. Uh, I'm not sure if we want to make things that tight, though. I want to have it near... Near to, but not inside the dome. Right? Let's just pop it right next to this chap here. It will need piping, though. So we can run the piping across from that bad boy there. And then we'll have just another cheeky little farming. Should we? We're not going to have enough workers up front, honestly. But let's see what we can do. And then maybe we can be... We'll have a farm in each of these. If they're empty, it's fine. We have the apartments coming online to supply them. And then... Yeah. We can we can get along with that. We've got... We've just opened up these two new ones as well. Because these are all online now. This is going to be good, guys. This is going to be great. I'm happy with this. Totally happy. Okay. So, 24, 48, and then there's two free spots in this. We can have 50 new people sent along. Do we dare bring that many on board? We have production of zero and consumption of three, but we have a very large amount stockpiled. Now, ideally, what we want to do is get the rest of these new farms online and that one there, and we've got this bad boy coming up. If we do that, and then we hire another 50 people, then theoretically, we should be able to like house them all in these two new buildings. We should be able to have, like we've got a school and a nursery and stuff, so we've got the, the wherewithal to be able to 
Um, oh, poo. We've got the wherewithal be able to be able to, like, give these people, you know, the ability to have children, which would be good. Um, oops. Another anomaly. Very nice. Um, blocking objects. Oh, poo. Okay, never mind. A new trade route with Europe. Ah, oh, hello there. All right, let's initiate trade. We will send 50 machine parts in exchange for 1100 research. How many machine parts do we currently have? Six. So we need to... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. We totally can't. But yeah, we will be able to very shortly. Okay. We are going to export 50 machine parts to the colony of Europe using the Biran as soon as we have 50 machine parts, which we... It's actually going to be very difficult to produce that, isn't it? I may have just made an error. All right. So next episode, we're going to figure out how to... First of all, we're going to get the rest of our dudes online. We're going to bring a whole bunch of new people in. Uh, we're going to finish off all this construction, which I have totally queued way too much of. Um, and yeah. Yeah, this is going to be fun. <sighs> all right, friends. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll catch you all next time. Bye.